Will we still have free choice when Moshe comes? By Israel Kotler. Question, will we still have freedom of choice when Moshe comes? From what I've read, it seems like we will automatically do the right thing, and without any decisions to make, won't life be pretty boring? Response, I like this question. When Moshe comes, there won't be the many layers of confusion that makes life so difficult. Priorities will change. We will sense the importance and beauty of the Torah and mitzvah. Being generous with others will be natural. Divine wisdom will shine through every aspect of the world. In the words of the prophet, the entire world will be filled with knowledge of God as waters cover the seabed. And with the truth so obvious, who will be able to do anything wrong? However, good versus evil is not the only decision we make in life. There is another sort of free choice too, one that will even apply even when Moshe comes, good versus better. Today the question is often whether or not we do a certain good deed. When Moshe comes, it will be to what extent we do that mitzvah. We will push ourselves to the max or just be satisfied with a regular job. Today we choose between using our talents for good things or bad things. When Moshe comes, we will choose between nurturing those talents even further or just letting them be. I think this answers your second question. You are right. Obstacles give us excitement. They provide us with a drive for life. When Moshe comes, that drive will be there, only in a different form. Think of both an airplane and a rocket. They both require a form of resistance in order to fly. In the airplane, the resistance is provided through interplay with an external factor, the varied degrees of air pressure on both sides of the wings. Now, above a certain elevation, this is no longer possible. You have to create your own resistance that pushes downwards. This is the rocket. Today, our battle is between good and bad. With evil working against us, we make the right decisions and propel ourselves forward. But when Moshe comes, we'll leave this atmosphere. Evil will become a no-brainer. We will need our own rockets, the challenge of good versus better. And we will use freedom of choice to decide just how high we want to soar. As the Talmud tells her, Sadiqim have no rest, neither in this world nor in the next. In the words of the prophet, they go from strength to strength.